Rabbit Array. These guys, these guys are great. Look at them. They got little ears. Herbivores, uh, 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 herbivorous aquatic life form rabbit rays appear to live serene and solitary lives with few predators and natural sense of curiosity and awesomely poisonous flesh. <laughs> oh, okay, that one took a turn. It's like, oh, they're just chill and they're curious. And like, oh, aren't they cute? They poison you. <laughs> they poison you on contact. Ears, twin orange appendages mounted on the head, sense vibration in the water, undulating wings. Mark the uh, similar method of transportation to that of Earth rays. Uh, zero genetic resemblance detected, suggesting these two species independently develop uh, similar s uh, solutions to their environmental circumstances. Evidence indicates its large side facing eyes are relatively recent adaptations. It is likely that they're relegated ray species and other environmental biomes on the planet. Inedible but harmless. Right, they're just poisonous. That's not a big deal. Poisonous isn't the problem. Venomous is the problem, right? My understanding is that venom is when you get injected or like when they transmit the the the, the deadly uh, material in, to you. It's like a, a, like a... A snake is venomous. But something being poisonous just means you can't eat it. Like berries are poisonous. Snakes are venomous. So the rabbit ray being poisonous is not a big deal. It's just not a viable food source. Which means I get to just enjoy its presence of it being cool. Hey, the sun's coming up. Just in time. Also, I think I saw the psychic blasts happening over here again. I want to scan one of those guys, but I'm also a little afraid they might kill me on sight. Because it might be ultra, ultra badass or something. That's about all the seeds I can carry. I should eat some of these. Maximize my health and then cut more up. I'll take those home with me and store them or something because they might be handy eventually And I don't want to be here anymore I'll have to come back with more stuff so I can explain explore that cave Inventory full uh, I want to scan that thing, but I'm a little spooked Maybe it's friendly Hey, a peeper. If a peeper is alive over here, how dangerous could it be? <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to handle this. It seems like a long trip back, right? I might jump cut, you guys. And you might I might just show you guys. I'll, I'll record it just in case something happens. But I might just go on a long voyage back. And then see you guys when I get there. Because, uh... That might be like half an episode of moving at, norm at my normal speed. There's the, the creepy thing. Hey, buddy, please don't... Do you just teleport? What the f... Is that what you're doing? Is that teleportation? I don't want to get in the water with it, but I also do want to look at it. Ooh! Thing. Uh, are we okay? That's a fucking zerg. That's a Zerg Protoss. You're a Zerg Protoss. What are you? It's a Warper? Are you- Friend? 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 Let me finish scanning you. Okay. Okay. Tell me- Mr. Scanner Boy, tell me what to think about that thing, because it's spooky. <laughs> uh... It hasn't attacked me yet? Maybe it's not dangerous? Let's skip to the assessment part real quick. Uh, what did I get? Blueprint? I'll get to that in a second. Uh, fauna. New category, I would assume? No? Small herbivores. Large herbivores. Carnivores. Oh, it's a carnivore. Great. Uh, further research required. It doesn't- I don't have to think about them yet, apparently. Hey, do you attack? What are you? Oh, you have visible organs. Uh, I'm so torn about your appearance. Like, I could see that being something that I could talk to in, in, in a game. And it would, like, try to sell me things. And also I could see it being a horrible uh, xenomorph-like monster that wants to eat my everything and plant babies inside me and then explode me. Uh, I really don't have a read on that one. And I'm not fond of how the game was, like... Even the game's answer is like, uh, I'm like, don't give me an answer, damn it. All I know is he's a carnivore, which is not great. It says he's aggressive. 
An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No, and others. Fuck. What if he can teleport you deep underground? What if he can teleport you out of a vehicle? Uh, those are all bad things. No genetic cross software identified with indigenous life forms de uh, demonstrates no recognizable defensive behavior. Head. Mechanisms located at the head region provide its warping capability, which it uses to stalk its targets. Torso. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure. Yeah, what was that? That's probably fine. It's probably just a bird. Internal structures can, uh, considerably more complex than other known organisms and unable to, and unable to uh, distinguish whether or organic or artificial in nature. Literally all I know is it teleport stuff. That just didn't give me any information. Great. Uh... They say it doesn't have in, uh, digestive organs. That's really weird. Does it only hunt other things because to defend itself, I wonder? Oh, right, these are decomposing. They don't last. Shit. Eh. Uh, I might as well just take some samples for me to use to, f to eat if I need to, but, uh, it's not going to be useful. Uh, it's not going to be useful because I can't store it. Ooh! Oh, it's shooting at me. It's the first time it, it actively did something towards me. I, I want to, I want away from those. Eh. I imagine the scary thing might be that it can probably, uh... It can probably warp you really deep underwater or something, or out of a vehicle. Like, teleportation is bad news. That's, like, my weakness in some situations here. It could probably just crush me with the ocean's depth. Uh, what else did I scan? Cyclops. Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy, but comparison... By comparison to the competition, it can be crewed by just one pilot, hence the name. It looks bigger than the Sea Glide? Oh yeah. Looks a lot bigger than the Sea Glide. Features three speed manual piloting controls and forward observation deck for precision man maneuvering, dry dock, transportation, maintenance, and recharging of scouting vehicles. It can scout, uh, it can have other vehicles in it. Like a mobile base? Extensive storage solutions in the keel hold section. Internal and external video feeds, onboard AI for threat detection, extensive customization options. Advice for captains, higher speeds generate additional noise which may attract undesired attention. Power consumption, energy engine off 0%, slow 25%, standard blah blah blah, speeds. Silent running mode may be activated in conjunction with any speed setting to reduce noise close to zero at a substantial co additional power cost. Cyclops. Upgrades may be fabricated at the terminal in the engine room and installed at the neighboring panel. Hmm. 8 meters per second. Acceleration 3 meters per second per second. Power cells are how you charge it. 1 to 6 people. NB the Cyclops does not feature. Habitation quarters. It is recommended the uh, captain draw up a rota to decide who gets to sleep in the corridor each night. <laughs> Uh, automatic fire suppression. Hole damage and high speeds increase fire risk. Emergency ballast. In the event of full system failure, this vehicle will sink. Oh, I don't like. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. That's exactly what I don't want to hear. What's your speed? Uh, 36 kilometers per hour. Well, you measured your speed in uh, meters per second. Thanks. I can't wait to do that conversion. Sea Moth. Alright, I was thinking the Sea Glide. Sea Moth is what I meant to compare it to, but... Yeah, that's clearly just a, a cockpit, and that's clearly like a whole... That's like, the, that right there is the Sea Moth, basically, in size. Uh, did you... 13 meters per second. So Sea Moth is twice as fast as the Cyclops, almost? Almost. I've used up some of my day, haven't I? Yeah. I think the thing's spooky. Why, why is it teleporting so much? Who's it even doing that to? Ugh... I guess I'll show it. Hey, lead. Oh, my inventory's full. Eh. 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 There we go. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go on a journey with you guys. 
It'll be a very long journey and I'll be nervous, but you know, we'll, we'll do it together. It's gonna be a very long session. I don't know, if you don't want it, skip it. You know, optional content. Skip to the part where I'm back at base. Man, I do not want to go deep down because it, I do not have my tools for getting back up. Especially since I got rid of the floaty thing. Oh, these are the things that make the good things happen. Oh, that's a good thing. Hi, little friend. I'm gonna... Do you want to be eaten? Would you like to be consumed whole? Uh, I don't like being a peeper. I don't like being a peeper, and I'm being a peeper right now. Oh, that was a little skip. That's what being in the open is. It's me being a peeper. That's a new one. The fuck is that sound? I don't like that sound. <laughs> I don't like that sound. Being in the open ocean with that much emptiness visible, all I can think is I'm a peeper right now. <laughs> I'm a little peeper, and I'm just as killable as they are. And I hate it. Maybe I'll finish scanning the Cyclops parts. Real quick. Nuclear reactor, damn. That's good shit. That's good shit. This place seems alright, it's a kelp forest. They haven't betrayed me yet, they just have stalkers. And the stalkers aren't that scary, they're just dicks. Oh, see, it's got a rabbit ray. It's That's not indicative of anything, actually. I'm not any safer. Wow, all this stuff's around here. Hey, stalkers. Yeah, maybe this isn't such a crazy location. I could live here, it's fine. I, excuse me while I, while I rise all the way to the surface real quick. But hopefully nothing comes over and murders me real quick. Ugh. Alright, well at least there's good hauls around here. I'm gonna go home with a whole bunch of cool shit in my inventory. That's, let's be optimistic. And I'm just gonna try to think about how I'm in a nice, familiar... Re uh, kelp forest area with that happens to have sh fuck oh they're super not lady you can fuck right off you can fuck right off I should be scanning those things I'm finding good shit around here I'm finding some good shit that was diamond I found a lithium outcrop and a shale outcrop. Huh. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Lithium's a really fucking weird thing to find, though. <laughs> I think it said lithium, right? Fuck! <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Stop it, you. Oh, you. There's just biters around here being dicks. Uh, that's some cool stuff. This is a cool landscape. I like it. Just gotta think about how I'm not next to a horrible abyss right past that wall. I'm in the happy, safe coral reef where everything's happy and safe, and there's just an occasional douchebag that wants to be territorial for a second and be all like, oh, let me tell you about toxic masculinity. I, uh, we got up here. There we go. Shale. Boink. Diamond. Diamonds in the shale. I would not expect to so casually find hilarious amounts of diamonds, but here we are. Ooh, mobile vehicle bay. Ah. Oh. oh, that's a good. Oh, this place is overrun with very useful materials that I'm going to not be able to carry any more of soon. Please don't die. Please don't die. This is a good place to loot. All right. My primary hope is that I'm too... I'm hoping I'm too small and shitty to be viable... So that's silver ore, damn. I'm hoping I'm too small and shitty to be a viable food source for anything that's sufficiently scary. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, come back! There we go. Yeah, that, that stuff does not last. And it's decomposing. Fuck me! Is that a biter? What was that? Ow. Wait, did that food have negative quality? Is that what just happened? Did it already have negative eating quality? Alright, well that, that stuff was kind of redundant to cap- I have two diamonds. Damn. I'm not too concerned, my health is like full, so I guess whatever hit me wasn't that scary. Can I scan you, or... I must have already done that. 
So shale, if you're wondering, is actually not significantly different from sandstone. Uh, it's not really a big deal. Not sure what to make of lithium's uh, outcrops being around here, if I read that correctly, which I'm not sure I did. But uh, shale's not a big deal at all. Shale and sandstone are actually made of the same stuff, basically. Uh, lime limestone is fundamentally a difference in mineral makeup, uh, but the primary difference between shale and sandstone are actually, uh, is it getting dark again? Shit. Is it the eclipse again, or is it, like, nighttime again? Like, do I, should, I wait, should I wait it out again and then make the actual trek soon because I'm not gonna be able to carry any more stuff anyway? Copper. That, co that, that copper ore was, uh, oxidized. I think that- I'm pretty sure that copper was oxidized that I just picked up. Okay, I think that might have been an eclipse? What was that? Nope, that's a sunset. Alright, I should go back to shore. And this time, pro I'll probably wait it out again. Or, you know, it's a good time to catch up on my reading. That's what- that's the bizarre loop we're in right now. I'm mining, and then I'm catching up on my reading. That's my day shift. There we go. I encountered oxidation well before I ever uh, studied geology because uh, we did a... My friend and I did a, a little science experiment that wasn't very interesting where we basically just left a bunch of different types of metal of metal and water for the same amount of time and then took a look at how, they're, how they progressed out of curiosity. I had some not very good science projects actually, just in general. Okay, I am uncomfortable with how dark it is, mainly because I have zero sources of light. That's not really much worth ex saying out loud. It was pretty self-explanatory. Why? What's what's so uncomfortable about the darkness? The the no light. Like, thanks. Blowing my mind right now. Yeah, you would cause an eclipse. You're freaking huge, and you'd probably do cover the sun, and cause those kinds of things to happen. Oh, get me to land. Uh, may not be the most exciting thing, or maybe th this might not be the most exciting segment for you guys, or it might be kind of like, oh, what a change of pace. He's in, he's trapped on a weird island, and he doesn't have his way back because he's an idiot, and he fucked it up. So now he has to stab trees for a living in order to f feed his family. Go away. Go on, get. Run. You're going to run away now, right, because I stabbed you. You little shit. A little shit. You heard me. I called you a little shit. Go on, get. Uh, I, sh I should catch up on my reading. Let's go to a high place and, and just read more things while we wait for the, the day-night cycle transition. Then, when it's light out, I'll drop some materials on the floor so I can pick up tree to eat. And then I'll go back out there, and I'm running out of inventory space, so we'll probably be leaving soon. Because not even my scavenging will still be valid soon. Ooh, I can keep making progress towards where I want to go from over here. Is my entire inventory full? Yeah. Don't you think about it. Don't you, don't you dare. You little sh- Come here. Come here. Get out of here, you little- Okay, he's still- Oh, he's still coming after me. That was not the deterrent I was hoping for. It's a good thing that broken glass just heals itself in this game, otherwise it'd be in trouble. I like how so much of my inventory is used by equipment I can't even use right now, basically. I really thought that one through, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, I have a flashlight. <laughs> uh, well, we got that. Got that going for me. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I put it in the base. I took it off my bar at the very least. And yeah, I thought I'd put it in the console. Well, now I have light for a bit while I wait, I guess. Yeah, I can't carry any more salts. We have tons of silver. Got a bunch of... Uh, five silver, two diamonds, one lithium, five lead, four gold, three copper. Not bad. I'd probably drop titanium to get more other samples if I get if I can find them. Not salt though. Oh, we can look at the we can look at the crystal structure. Look at that. So what happens is yeah, like it just it just naturally forms these cubic shapes 
that's just how salt crystals form in the water. Uh, basically, what, you basically need an, an initial uh, nucleus for most crystals. You need some kind of you, like you you have like the solid uniform uh, molecular structure of like you know the, like the soup is in the water and it's all it's all there but it kind of needs a nucleus to start crystallizing around just to set off the process like there's a weird there's a weird phenomenon where you can uh sometimes you can have a, a liquid that's just pure like exact it's just water and all the stuff you need to have like a salt crystals or some other kind of crystal and you can have it like be pure and weirdly nothing will happen until like Sometimes you throw something in, and then like that one thing suddenly becomes the nucleus for the crystal, and it's like, okay, now it'll start latching onto something. But once uh, the salt crystals start forming, they just form regular patterns. There's just specific patterns in which the molecules most easily connect with each other, and they just create these cube shapes. The reason why there's so many weird in cube shapes like that look like they're clipping through each other is just because they'll start making a particular shape in a bunch of different locations all at once because you know it's not like they're it's not like it's planned out or anything and then they'll just collide with each other and eventually this these separate shapes that are all crafting with each uh, that are being made just kind of hit each other and they kind of just stop but they were but they were already building in those different locations at different times and then they just kind of hit each other and that's why they so that's why there's all these weird inter interlocking things that's pretty much the standard it's cool though, this is absolutely a thing that can happen in real life. This is not a, a, a crazy alien looking thing. Anyway, thank you Mr. Light for helping me through that scary time. Now to go murder, now to like bleed this tree. Let's see. Uh, let's drop my helm. What? Where the fuck is it? Oh, Why would it just disappear? Why wouldn't it just lay on the floor for a second? Shit. Well, that fucking sucks. Anyway. I guess I get to recraft that. Okay, you guys cannot blame me for that. There was no way I would know it would just magically disapparate the item from existence. I was just gonna set it down for a second and pick it up. I've set things down before. What did it clip through the ground? Uh. Uh. I had that momentary thought of like, should I try to like load an old save or something? Fuck. Am I gonna have to recraft a radiation set? Just to get the helm back? What the f- You dick. You dick of a game. Alright, well, that's ha that happened. I should have obviously done something less vital, but it was just a convenient... Ow! It was just a convenient size 4 object I could do that with. Ooh! Hello, gold. Oh wait, I have, I have space for that right now. Spiders all around. Is that lead? Lithium. Damn. Okay, let's get rid of you. Yeah, I should have just dropped these up front. That was my bad, I guess. I'll drop I'll drop the salt. God damn. So I guess if I want cool stuff, just come here again. It's not exactly hard to get. Wow. Although I don't know if stuff respawns in this game, like in general. But that's a... Okay, got a bunch of lithium and gold all of a sudden, like it's no fucking big deal. Kind of makes up for my horrible mistake, right? I keep going up higher. And I keep going higher. Ooh. Purple, t purple tablet. Uh, you're pro- <sighs> Should I drop the copper? Copper's not exactly a common occurrence, but my inventory is full- No, you know what's a, you know what a common occurrence is a first aid kit. Get that. 
That's a really rare item as far as I can tell. I'm gonna be on my tr I should really be heading back. There's cool exploration to do, and it's so far away from where I'm going back to. Okay, there's an absurd amount of stuff around here. Yeah. This is like the most, like, freaking rich vein of stuff ever. It's kind of just like, it's kind of feels like it's just thoughtlessly plopped on every single wall. It's bizarre. Alright. You can't run and hold the light up at the same time. What are you, the protagonist of the Slender Man game? <laughs> That's a problem you have, apparently. All right, let's begin. Let's begin the swim. My inventory is full. There's cool stuff. I know this place exists. I'm gonna have to come back here if I ever want this stuff in the future. I'm just gonna jump into the water. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Ow! That was a bad call on my part. I'm not totally sure why I'm so far down. I guess being near the floor makes me feel safer on some level. If I and if I find cool debris, I can scan it. That'll make progress. Does it seem closer? Ooh. That's cool. I hope nothing tries to murder me. Why is the music playing like something cool's happening? Don't- I don't want cool things to happen right now. It's- Is it only that far away? I thought I was way- I thought I was way further away. I feel like I'm way past the 1000 mark than I should be. I wonder if there's no multiplayer in this game because the Subnautica people didn't want to spend the resources to deal with it, or if because they thought that being genuinely alone fundamentally changes the game. Because they're working on mods for it. Modders are trying to make this game multiplayer, which is interesting. Have I been here before? Yeah, I've been- oh, this is three. I've been here before. Okay, we're in like, and I, and I got here without the, I got here without the swimming thing, so like, we're in pretty familiar territory. Okay. Okay. I need to oh, not die real quick. There we go. Please don't eat me. I know you're chasing me right now. Could you not? Okay. Uh, we're good. There shouldn't be very- there shouldn't be anything scary here. Okay. Ah, uh, even the color scheme makes me happier again. Okay, yeah, we're- we're good. No, I was- That was not as long of a worrying trek as I thought it might be. Am I hearing big things? What am I hearing? But yeah, I'm back. I'm between my base and one of those places. Yeah, we're in 300 already. I guess this just wasn't that big of a deal. You get inside your own head. Reminds me, uh, like I'll get desen I'll probably get desensitized to some elements of this over time. It also seems like that isn't the longest trip, so I guess I could make the trip back for the purposes of harvesting. But like people that watch me play Soma will remember there's that one time that I just stood in a room and stood still for like five minutes. Some people give me shit for that. Sometimes. I still get it repeated co comments every now and then because I'm just sitting there and the monster's in the next room and I'm just hearing horrible sounds. But I'm like, that was a horror movie moment for me. Horrible sounds were happening and I just sat there around the corner waiting for the horrible, horrible sounds to pass, which took a while. I guess it was supposed to- You asshole. Get it? Get a fucking job. There we go. Hey! We're back. Ah, familiar territory with that one asshole over there. He's- I guess he's really consistently around. It's just always that one asshole. 
fucking with my things. Where is my pot? There we go. Ah. Oh, we had a quite a day. That was a long one, too. Found out that we're doomed. We're alone in the universe. No one's coming to save us. There's a space cannon. I've got a plague. Also, I was stranded. That was... Fucking eventful. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Fuck you. 